<laughs> I thought you were talking about the sulfur. I was gonna call Zach Baggins. I can smell you. I can smell you. My name is Zach Baggins. This is a bitch of a trap door. It won't open. Well, I gotta go, you guys. It was fun being in the video. Ah, <sighs> thanks for joining. Oh, I figured out the it's trap just... door. I was opening it the wrong way. Well done, honey. You did it. You done it. There's whispers in the tunnels. There's whispers in the tunnels! They're telling me to kill myself. Take their advice. I've got, I've got an explodey barrel. I'm gonna throw it at the wall. Hello, snack bar! It didn't blow up. <laughs> We're good. Oh. It was a dud. We'll have to talk to that fucking American government about getting better goods over here. My flashlight's dying already, and I haven't even fucking done anything. So, oh, there's spiders down here. Um. Okay, so, spiders, tunnels, good to know. How big are they? It was about the size of my... It was like forearm. It was a big one. Ooh, that's a big boy. He's a, he's, he's a little creepy deepy guy. He's, I can hear him slith, not slither, diddling around behind me. There's a dead pooch down here too. He's covered in a spider web. A horrible sight. Luckily, it's mummified, or else the smell would have been awful. Huh. Did you guys know rotting corpse smells awful? Uh, no, to be honest. I've, I've never had that one. So I found a flare and a note. Day one. I began this record, still in the hope that the great work we have undertaken here might one day be of scientific value, despite the... The, the chaos which has ensued in the six hours previous. My aim is to remain secure until what help there may be arrives. And to that end, I have barricaded myself into a small workshop area in the abandoned part of the mine. I hope that the meager food rations here will keep me alive and that those I hide from will not jeopardize that. Perhaps this mine really is cursed. It's almost precisely 30 years since the incident that brought us here. What incident brought us here? And now... The incident. What? <laughs> the incident that shall not be named. And now, 30 years on, fate has struck again. That's page one. Day three. What happened to... <laughs> Did I sleep through day two? <laughs> I forecasted that today the rescue crews would arrive, but I can only hypothesize that they would be unaware of my location and hence busy themselves evacuating the other survivors. If they have not arrived by tomorrow, I will go out in search of them. Day six. Man, he's skipping days like crazy. Those days were unimportant. He said he was going out on day four, but like I didn't get to hear what happened on day four when he went out. Day six. <laughs> My first mistake was to make assumptions on, on the matter of rescue. My second mistake was to make assumptions on the safety of this mine. My third mistake was to act on both. Was to act on both, sorry. Those assumptions in going outside of my safe haven. My best estimate is that I left the workshop where I was secured about two days ago in search of aid, and I have found only danger. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> this, well done. This, this isn't going well so far. I approached the old living quarters, but curiously could find no signs of life whatsoever. Oh shit. I returned in that, in what I thought was the direction from which I had come but soon found myself in an unfamiliar locale. Unfamiliar locale. I also have Down Syndrome. Excuse the reading. <laughs> Confused but focused, I attempted to make my way home, 
but found myself threatened by some species of feral creatures which seemed to have made this old mine its home. Although the specimen before significant bore sig fuck Jesus Murphy Although <laughs> excuse me. Although the specimen bore significant interest to me, I chose to retreat. Only to find myself out man outmaneuvered and outnumbered by the beasts. <gasps> Are we talking about the spiders? I turned and ran, injuring my ankle in the process. You dumbass. Which I believe now is most likely a sprain. Sorry, I had to turn the page. Rather than a fracture, for some time I cowered and fled into the dark. How do you cower and flee? I've never seen done, like, <laughs> both done simultaneously, I don't think. I'm not gonna lie. I have never, like, sprained. A limb. Ah, beast! Ah, oh, my ankle! I sprained it! <laughs> I cowered and fled into the dark, but a few hours ago I discovered a door leading to a smaller, disused part of the mine. The key for which I still in my pocket. Where, where did you get the key from? <laughs> Within that area, I discovered the storeroom, and I think that should keep me safe for some time. This place is a maze. My lesson learnt, I will not venture out again until I am certain the area is safe. Day 19. Rescue seems increasingly unrealistic. Supplies diminishing. Lots of spiders in this place. I do not like spiders. Day 34. I caught one of the, ac of the accursed eight-legged beasts nestling in my open mouth when I woke up this morning. Oh. Jesus Christ. In my surprise, I swallowed it. Mm. What? what? <laughs> ah, I'm surprised by the spider in my mouth. <laughs> mm. okay. uh, I swallowed it. It's not so much the act of swallowing which concerns me. <laughs> but the genus of arachnid. It would be unlikely that the cave dwelling spider would be venomous to any significant to any significant degree, but the possibility troubles me all is the same. He turned German there for a little bit. Uh, this this <laughs> this cave does that. It's Day thirty five. <laughs> any known venom would have been a, would have affected me by now, and so today is the first minor cause for celebration that I have had since the incident. But luckily, coincidence, this revelation also means that I have discovered a virtually inexhaustible supply of nutrition. Mm. Mm. I intend to venture out into the basement beneath this storeroom in the name of science. Bill not a science guy. To discover more about these creatures' natural habitat. Day 50. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this first part is just going to be reading. Four days n for four days now I have been surviving solely off the quite considerable sustenance provided by spiders. For some time I was struggling to gather enough of the crunchy little morsels. However, Ugh. Lady Lux smiled on me once more when the batteries in my torch died and I made a second life sa second life saving finding. What? <laughs> the creature's natural habit habitat is the dark. With my light now diminished, I need only sit, s lie still for a few minutes, and I will have attracted enough beasts for a rather hearty meal. Oh. End okay. of notes. Let's go on. That was titled "Scientific Findings One." Ah, steam. Steam could f blister flesh from bone in an instant. Ah! It burns. Oh, it burns so good. If it weren't for the size of the pieces, I would say it looks like eggshells. It's a pretty big eggshell. It's about the size of, uh, maybe like a tennis racket. An eggshell? Yeah, with some spider webs. Day 71! <laughs> My earlier assumption, Jesus Christ, I fucking hate how much reading there is. My earlier assumptions on the benign nature of my cellmates 
may have been made in error. After a careful autopsy, I am concerned that there may be a small volume of natural chemicals stored in the stomach, which, if ingested regularly over a period of time, may become psychotropic. It's, or even lethal. My only real chance is to break out of here and raid any stashes of supplies I can find. However, evidence against such a move is insurmountable. One, I have no source of light. Two, I swore to myself I wouldn't leave until I heard a human voice outside. Three, spiders are so tasty. Mmm, <laughs> so tasty. Day 100. Day 100? <laughs> I've been down here a long time. Skipping a few days, though. <coughs> yeah, it was like a 50 day skip. No, it was only a 30. I think it was only 30. Uh, 29. 29 days. From the marks okay. I have been making on the walls and my scribble diary entries, which in the dark may amount to an illegible scrawl. So far, it's so good, man. Except for that one part I didn't understand. Um, <laughs> today is the 100th day of my new life. Over the past month, my edible friends have become more and more aggressive. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and have swelled in number and size. Whether or not this is a result of my plundering their ecosystem, I am unsure. However, at this rate of growth, they will soon be too large to crawl through the gaps in the walls. For all I know, I could only be seeing the tip of the iceberg. Spider iceberg, that's kind of scary. <laughs> if all fails, I am never... And I am never recovered. My throat really hurts from reading this. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it's okay. Uh, am I never recovered? I hope at least that my study of and indeed involvement with these fascinating creatures will one day be regarded as an important point in natural history. The greatest names in modern science got there more through fluke than talent, and it appears that the rule has extended itself to my discovery of this delicious new species. So, this guy wants to be put down in history for making an important note in natural history from uh, eating spiders. Um. <laughs> Wait, I'm pretty sure that's been done before, sweaty. Get this man a Nobel Prize. I only pray uh, that the second rule deems my breakthrough too insignificant, for all great discoveries tend to consume their inventor. I almost said investor. Well, I'm going the right way, because that was, that was scientific logging number two. There's so much steam! If I get hit by the steam, I die. Ah, ah, I died. As is. So, thanks for watching. Uh, this has been pay number of sorts. Uh, <laughs> I'm Moose, aka uh, the Floppy Pancake. Uh.